Hello, I'm going to read an excerpt from my translation of Mithu Sanya's identity for, for Hansa Books. And um, the, the excerpt I'm going to read explains the title of the book. So it's not from the very beginning, um, but it's very near the beginning. And um, the situation is the blogger, um, who is the also the main character, um, she goes into a um, radio station for an interview about her work and she's um, she blogs about um, identity politics among other things Verena pulled the microphone towards her and began where are you from a hot topic these days is it racist or just an expression of curiosity what are we allowed to say which words are banned and what does all this tell us in the studio today, my guest is the blogger Nivedita Anand, who, according to Missy magazine, is one of the PC, POCs you need to know. Nivedita, before you answer all our questions, could you explain the word POC without using the words people, of, and colour? Nivedita stared at Verena as if she'd said, can you breathe without inhaling? Or can you meet your mother without throwing a tantrum over something completely trivial? Or... Can you think of India without vertigo caused by the void that opens up inside you? Then she heard her own voice saying, POCs are the people who always get asked, where are you from? And where are you from, Nivedita? Nivedita was starting to feel that Verena and her dimples were taking the piss. She knew that the question was meant as a joke. Provocation makes good for radio, but she couldn't provoke back, which was why she answered defensively, from the internet, I live in the internet. That seemed to be exactly the answer Verena had been waiting for. Under the name Identity, Nivedita blogs about identity politics and tits, Nivedita added maliciously. More about breasts or more about identity politics, Verena exulted. And Nivedita's defensiveness melted in the sun of her enthusiasm. Not just about breasts, I also blog about, um, can I say vulvas on the radio? Let's stick to breasts. Okay. For a brief moment, Nivedita wondered what Verena's breasts looked like, but quickly focused back on her own. It all started with me posting a photo of my breasts. I'd written on them in eyeliner, in ancient Ireland, the Celts sucked the king's nipples to show their loyalty. Verena's dimples jumped upwards like two raised thumbs. Really? No idea. My cousin Pretty heard it on QI and I loved the idea of social nipple sucking. But then a smart ass posted a long comment about how the story could only be found in the saga of... Nivedita checked her f the inside of her forearm where she jotted down the most important names and dates. Fergus McLight in the 8th century. It was meant as a joke, but obviously I hadn't got a sense of humour because I did gender studies. I replied, I don't do gender studies, I do post-colonial studies. To which Smarty Pants replied, the only other mention comes from St. Patrick who claims to have refused to suck the nipples of the pagan Irish king, and St. Patrick on heathens is as reliable as Donald Trump on Muslims. You should know with that, with your post-colonial gender. But before I could answer Facebook, Facebook had blocked my account because of the nipples. But by that time, the picture had already been shared so often that I knew I had to carry on. By the way, I call my posts a blog because it sounds so retro, you know, like CD or Porsche or hetero marriage. But my website is actually just an archive of my threads and rants and posts and stories and comments because people seem to want to read them chronologically like a story because we're more than just comments in the margins of identity politics. Nivedita felt her nipples harden under her t-shirt as if they were saying, all this is down to us. Good, aren't we? Great, Verena agreed with them. Is that how you came up with the name Identity? No, at first my blog was called Fifty Shades of Beige because of my skin colour. Why not brown? Because that's racist. Verena's dimples vanished, startled. Really? No idea. That's what all this is about, that there's no language for people like us. After all, we were illegal up to recently. Illegal? Illegal, Nivedita confirmed. To be completely honest, her internet persona had been born when she'd written 
a term paper on mis miscegenation laws, or rather the laws forbidding miscegenation. As fascinating as breasts were, they would never have inspired the overflowing stream of outrage that she distilled into words. Still, it had all started with sex, legal sex, illegal sex, and sex that was so inconceivable that it blew the, the minds of lawmakers. The Nazis weren't the only ones who tried to prevent miscegenation. In the US, white and black people have only been allowed to marry since, again, she glanced at her arm, 1967 and in South Africa since 1985. When my mother was pregnant with me, her doctor warned her here in Germany that half castes were more susceptible to depression than full castes, presumably. But when I told this to my, um, she hesitated imperceptibly, boyfriend, Simon, just said, you and your identity. And somehow the name stuck. Thank you.